Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome to part two of our Disney dining series. Part two. Part two. We're talking about more food today. Um, obviously we're going through our Walt Disney World because it's not long till we go. So we are well and truly in the dining mood. We are. So before we share some of our restaurant reviews, if you caught the first one, which was California Grill, we really hope you enjoyed it. That's some good food there. Yeah, today we're gonna go a little further abroad with a bit more <laughs> exotic flavors. Where are we going? We're off to Tusker House. Tusker House. Yay. So Rich is gonna be our fact man because um, he loves doing all the facts, <laughs> so. So if you're unfamiliar with Tusker House, uh, it's located in Animal Kingdom. Um, so it's in the Africa section and it's just around the corner of Festival of the Lion King and you can usually, um, it's right next to the uh, performers that play the all the African instruments. Yeah. So yeah, if you're heading towards the Kilimanjaro safaris, um, it's kind of in that central area, it's really lively so you kind of, Tusker House is right there and it's such a nicely themed restaurant isn't it? It is, yes. So. Um, with this one, it is another one that we highly recommend reserving online in advance. 180 days through My Disney Experience. Um, they do breakfast, lunch and dinner. They do, yeah. We've only done lunch, but we've heard very good things. We've got friends that have done the breakfast and dinner and overall it's, it's, it's a great experience from what we've heard. But we're going to specifically talk about our lunch experience. Yeah. So we made a reservation and we obviously arrived. Um, we were arriving just as it was about to rain, so it was great to get some shelter. Yes. Um, so when you come into the restaurant, um, you've got an initial desk that you check in at, mm -hmm. and then we get issued with a buzzer. A buzzer, yeah. yes. <laughs> so you, you sit tight in the waiting area, wait for your buzzer to, to go off, uh, and then you're eventually called through to the actual restaurant itself. Yeah, and what's really nice is that obviously the, uh, the server will take you right through the restaurant. And we were actually seated in a really nice quiet area uh, off to the side. So we got to walk through the lively kind of central like marketplace. Marketplace. It's like a safari outpost, outpost yeah, yeah, marketplace kind of thing. And we actually had a great view um, out the window from where those African performers yeah. um, play their instruments on the on the sort of stand area. So that was good. I like that. Yeah, definitely. So if you think if you want a more quiet table, and we had the characters coming round so many times. We we had all four of the main characters who we'll talk about in a moment. But we also had um, a couple of them come around again, didn't we? We had a couple of um, rotations, um, so we, we got more than our fair share of uh, character experiences. Yeah. So this one, obviously you can um, book in advance and pay for it when you're there. The pricing just varies, so there is some seasonal pricing as there is with most table service restaurants. Yes. And it has, you can use dining plan, yep. as you know. And it's one table service credit. That is, yeah. And the other good thing about um, Tusker House is they do the Rivers of Light package. So if you want to book some priority seating at Rivers of Light, you can book a table at Tusker House and then it gives you some priority seating later on. But it's like a package, so you get like a drink and um, the, the meal included and it's slightly more expensive. Um, and it's two table service credits for that. But I think if you want to get a really good seat for Rivers of Light and you're going at a busy period, Definitely an option. Definitely an option. And if you're not part of the Disney Dining Package, um, the prices do vary throughout the year, different times of the year. So definitely check out the My Disney Experience app for the most up-to-date pricing. Yeah, we've not listed it here because it does change. It does change. So, so if we mentioned it here, it would may, may change, so you don't want to give you the wrong information. But keep an eye on My Disney Experience and they just have the most up-to-date pricing for you. But we had such good character experiences here, didn't we? We did, yeah. I really, we, we, took, we went with my grandparents and my mum. So for them, it's lovely they get to sit down and get a real choice of food. Yes. But also to get to see the characters. Um, for us, obviously, when they are a bit older, queuing for characters is not always an option. So if you want to have a nice seat and the characters come to you, mm -hmm. it was a... Ideal. It was, yeah, very ideal. Very comfortable experience. It wasn't. We didn't feel like we were rushed. No. Um, the characters were prepared to to take a little bit more time with uh, your grandparents. Yeah. And so that just made it all the more of a really relaxed experience. So big thumbs up for that. Yeah. Who did we see? So we saw. Checking him now. <laughs> we saw Daisy. Donald, Mickey, and Goofy, all dressed in their African outfits. Of yeah, course. Safari Mickey. Yeah, and it was really, really safari nice outfits. outfits. Yeah. Um, and they came round, so it was nicely timed as well because you could see when they were coming mm -hmm. because they followed the same rotation. You kind of got an indication whether 
to take that next mouthful of food or, <laughs> or go to, up and get... To go up and get more food. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, like Luke says, it wasn't rushed and there was a nice gap between the characters. They weren't all coming round one after the other. And But even if they were, I mean, it wouldn't have been too bad. It was lovely though. It was just a nice pace. But the um, the service was brilliant. We had a really nice server, uh, looked after us, kept our drinks topped up, mm -hmm. plates cleared. So it is a buffet, um, all you can eat which is always a good thing if you want to try different foods, a bit of this, a bit of that. Um, we've got Willow behind us. I'm just checking what she's up to. <laughs> she keeps moving in the background. I'm like, don't get up, please. Stay she asleep. Likes, she, Willow's our cat. She likes to be in videos. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a buffet. And the food options are really good. They are very good. Yes. But they cater, the food actually caters for, and we'll talk a little bit about this now, different types of preferences. Um, so, I mean... For you, the vegetarian options were, were good. Yeah, they had like, um, so I'm not fully vegetarian, but I don't eat a lot of meat. So for me, there was great salads. Um, there were um, lovely breads and pita breads and hummus and olives. Mm -hmm. So it was lovely for kind of like a meze Middle Eastern kind of themed, but it was obviously African flavors, but it wasn't two seasons, but it was lovely. I remember looking over your plate and it was just sort of like a mezze and of different things going on in your plate. It looked really nice actually. Yeah, and we'll show you some as we're on going around the video now, but you can see just the range of food and it was all topped up and kept very fresh. Yes. And then on the meat front... On the meat front, um, there were things like chicken, um, was there beef? And there was pork, pork, sorry, pork. pork. Um, and... Some fish. There was some fish, so... The way that it's laid out, so when you go into the, it's sort of like an outdoor market area, uh, they have some help yourself stations, but they also have some serving stations where they can carve and serve to you. And one of those stations contained, I can't remember the fish now, it was a big fish, um, and they were carving it up. And, they had and some salmon as well, didn't they? They had some salmon, salmon, and so that was nice. So there's just a little bit of a mix there. And one good thing to mention is, although the basis for a lot of foods is sort of African themed, they do cater for children as well um, that aren't so keen on the, we'll say fancy type type foods. Um, more exotic. More exotic, <laughs> yeah, should we say, type foods. So they've got things like the um, corn nuggets, um, they've got fries, they've got breaded chicken, um, I was trying to think of like potatoes, uh, I think they had mac and cheese as they well. They did, because my granddad had some mac and cheese. Yeah, he did have mac uh, and I'm cheese. I'm sure he did. So if you're a little bit concerned that it's, there's nothing or very minimal amounts of food for, for children that are more traditional, uh, like the traditional foods, they do have a separate station um, for, I think it's actually labelled children's area. Or kids Loads area. of kids food. Loads yeah. of kids food. Uh, it's very important that they do have that there, so I thought it was great that we should mention that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, And then the dessert stand is in the middle, uh, and the desserts, we, we weren't anticipating so many good desserts, and we ended up having probably more than we should, <laughs> but there was like a strawberry cake, brownie, cookies, fruit, um, which we'll obviously show you on the camera as well, but there were so many nice desserts. So many nice desserts, yeah. Really good. You are spoiled for choice there, actually. Yeah, and we were really lucky, actually, when we were getting our food, um, Daisy was doing a little dance. So the guy was playing, and I forgive us what it's called, but it, we're saying African style guitar. <laughs> yeah, that's probably our best. Like, it's probably got a technical name. It's probably got a technical name, but that's kind of the instrument he was playing. And Daisy just did a little impromptu little dance, so we caught that on camera, which was lovely. Yes, and just the atmosphere was really nice, and we just didn't find the buffet too busy, so it was really nice. Now it didn't didn't get too busy, even though the restaurant was really full. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't feel too busy at all. We booked, uh, I think, at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I remember when we arrived, it was it was very busy. Uh, and then as we were meet, eating our meal, pretty much all the tables were full. But when we were going up to the, the counters to get our food, it, there wasn't that busy feel. It was very, there was so much there that there was enough space for everybody. Yeah, definitely. What did you go for then? Some nice salad to start. Yeah, some nice salad to start, Brendan. A bit of ham. We've got Goofy over there and Daisy coming. Chicken, chicken, sweet plant, plantain, 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 
mash, wedges, rice. Yeah. It's got a real mixture of salad and bread, some olives and bread and salad. Nan's, Nan's eating all her. <laughs> um, we can do some left or there's some green beans. Getting himself some dessert. The cookies. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the really good station. All three of my things came from here. So I'm gonna go for one of those pink things. What's this this is a strawberry cake with white chocolate. Oh, you have to have this. You have the coffee, zebra coffee cake. And over there is chocolate cheesecake. Here's orange chocolate chip bread. So, Tusker House gets thumbs up. Look at that. And Daisy was just jamming. You're gonna take my dessert for me. Where are you going? It's my dessert. Come back. Come back. It's Daisy. When you give Tusker House a big thumbs up. Yes. I think we've covered everything. Um, but obviously, if you've got any questions, please ask them below. But yeah, definitely one to do. We would definitely do it again. Definitely, yeah. Um, definitely we'd like to try the breakfast because they have the like Mickey waffles and you know what a Disney breakfast is like. Yeah. Eggs, bacon. The potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're hoping in the future we'll give the Tusker House a try in the morning. Yes. But no, for, and it's also lovely and air conditioned in there. Mm -hmm. So if you do want a break from the heat, it's, Animal Kingdom is one of those parks that's just so hot. Yeah. And actually, it's good that you mentioned that because it kind of when you arrive to check in for Tusca House it gives the impression because it's it's the outdoor bit where you check in yeah and there is next door there is a seating area I think for I think a bar I can't remember the name of it but it kind of gives the initial impression that it is all outdoors but you are taken inside to an air-conditioned room it's restaurant and it's lovely inside so Very um, nice. don't panic if you arrive and it's in the outdoor section, you are taken inside. Yeah, it's lovely. So yeah, highly recommended. So um, that's the next part. So stay tuned, we've got lots more restaurant reviews coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you all for the next one. See you soon. See you soon.